everyone. Today I'm doing a recipe that I saw from my fellow YouTuber, Cooking with Big Gay Steve. And he also has a channel called Big Gay Steve. If you haven't checked him out yet, go check him out. He is hilarious and very informative and very fun to watch. So today the recipe is uh, eggplant lasagna. So I am going to use uh, two eggplants. He doesn't use onion, but I'm going to add onion because I have so many onions in the house. I need to use them. Ricotta cheese, uh, some Parmesan cheese, salt, mozzarella. Um, it, his recipe calls for spinach, but I got... Uh, what's called power greens. I'm going to use those portobellos and my sauce is roasted garlic and herb, some parsley, and we have some sausage here and he used ground beef, but I don't have any. So I'm going to use ground turkey. And then I have some black pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and some chopped onion for spices. I don't have powdered onion, so this is the only thing I have. I know it's redundant, but don't worry about it. It all works out at the end. All right, everybody, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to sharpen my knife just a little. I have a knife sharpener, but... This is just for, just for now. Well, I can sharpen these at a later date. What I'm doing is, you see the bottom of the coffee cup? You see how it has um, an unfinished edge to it? There's no glaze on it. That just temporarily sharpens your knife. All right. Okay, so now we're going to peel the eggplant. Just cut off the very ends here of your eggplant. And then we're going to peel them. The stickers. I love the sound of a peeling sticker and I also put these on the side of our refrigerator. I know you're like, ew, a bunch of stickers on the side of the refrigerator. Well, we have an old refrigerator and we're getting rid of it soon. So I don't care what I do the refrigerator. So we're going to peel it. I'm sure you guys know how to peel a eggplant. Okay, I'm going to do this. To all of it, and I'll be right back. Okay, and now we're gonna slice them. Um, in the video, Big Gay Steve cuts them in half and then slices them this way. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it this way, we're gonna slice them. This way, pretty thin, not like paper thin, but pretty thin here. Okay, careful, don't slice your finger. I'd say about a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, I'm going to slice these up and I'll let you know what we do next. Okay. So I have those already done. I'm going to use my, uh, 
I'm using Mediterranean sea salt just for uh, the eggplant purposes. So let me move you over and um, I got some paper towel down. I'm just salting the paper towel. Putting the eggplant down. There we go. Okay, just do that. Fill all your pans up and I'll be right back. Okay, you want to sprinkle the top parts. You don't need a lot of salt, just sprinkle it a little. Just kind of cover the surface of it. Okay, now what I'm doing is putting another paper towel down. Salting this. Putting the eggplant down. Like this. Get over there. Okay. Do it like that. Real fast. This, this is not so exciting part. Okay. So now that we have all the eggplant down, Cover it back up. I cover it with paper towel, salt down, put another pan over it, put something heavy on it, and you check it in about 45 minutes to an hour, and we'll come back. Okay, I've already cut up most of the mushrooms off camera. I'm just going to finish cutting them up. Look at how beautiful these baby Bellas are. They're so pretty. Okay, so there's the mushrooms. Just thin. Just a half inch. That's all you need. Now I'm going to cut the onion. Now again, uh, Big A Steve's recipe did not call for onion. But like I said in the intro, I have two big bags of onions that I need to go through. And anything that I can put an onion in, I'm going to. Okay. I'm just going to um, chop it like this, even though, even though I went to culinary school and they taught me how to cut an onion, I cut an onion my own way. This is the way I do it. It works for me. That's the way I'm going to do it. And there we go. This side of the way. Put it in a bowl. Set it aside. Okay, and now we're ready for the meat. Now, I am going to use uh, this pound of, says, country-style pork sausage and ground turkey. In this household, we don't really use ground beef, so I'm going to substitute his recipe with turkey. And I'm going to use one 24-ounce jar of uh, pasta sauce. This just happens to be roasted garlic and herb. Okay, so let's get started. 
All right, let's get things going. What I have here, he used um, olive oil. I have avocado oil on hand. Just put a little bit in there, probably about a tablespoon. Turn it on uh, medium heat here. Get that all warmed up. Okay. Oil's hot. And the onions. Break them up a little. Cook at the mushrooms. I love mushrooms and onions. I'm just going to let these cook a little bit, get a little uh, soft, and then the onions get a little translucent. That'll take a, a few minutes. So we'll let that cook. Okay, mushrooms and onions are cooking up nicely. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, not too much, because we salt as we go. Just add a little bit of salt at the beginning. I'm using uh, pink Himalayan salt. A little bit of pepper. Remember, always taste. Taste as you go. A little bit of uh, Italian seasoning. A little bit of garlic salt. Garlic powder, I'm sorry. Garlic powder. You know, we season and taste, season and taste. A little at a time. Okay, these are starting to get a little color, start to wilt a little. Okay. I'm doing this step just a wee bit different than Big A Steve, but it's still the same. It's just the steps are different. Okay, I took I took the mushrooms and onions out. And I'm going to now put the sausage in. And we're going to break it up into small pieces as it cooks. There's the pork. Turkey. I'm break it up. Okay, we're going to get this all cooked up. 
and the small little pieces. And this is on uh, medium heat. I'm going to let that rip. Okay, now that the meat is all cooked, I'm going to put back the uh, onions and mushrooms. Pour those back in. Stir them around. Mix it all up. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of the spices again, a little bit of the garlic powder, seems like a lot, but it's not, Italian seasoning, you want some flavor. Got to bring the flavor. Not too much pepper. A little bit of onion again. And trust me, it seems like a lot of onion flavor, but it's not going to be. A lot of these spices just kind of meld into the background. And then I'll salt it after it's been simmering for a while. So right now is when we add the sauce. Pasta sauce. Okay. And stir that around. Mix that all in there. Ooh, yeah. I wish you could smell this, girl. It smells delicious. Oh, girl. Okay. Now we're going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been simmering for a few minutes. I'm going to let it simmer um, a little bit more uncovered so it has a chance to reduce and the steam has a chance to escape to reduce it just a little bit so it's nice and thick the sauce has been simmering for 15 minutes now and it's nicely reduced and the whole house smells absolutely delicious this looks great so far. So I turned off the heat. We're going to set it aside and now we're going to rinse off our eggplant. Okay, let's check our eggplant. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this is good. So, see how the uh, paper towels are all wet? It's been rendering some of the water out of the eggplant. Now let's rinse it off.
just going to put the eggplant in the colander. Just do a little at a time so it all gets rinsed off properly. Okay, look at all this liquid came out of the eggplant. All right. Now, I'll set all this aside. Okay, the next step is uh, to cook them in the oven, but I don't have a working oven at this time. So I'm going to cook it, the eggplant in the pan a little at a time, and we'll get this going. Let me cook some eggplant up, and then I'll show you the next step. I'm just going to let them cook a little bit. And you're thinking, well, if she doesn't have an onion, or an onion, then if she doesn't have an oven, then how is she going to make the lasagna? Well, that's a secret, my dear. I'll let you know. When the time comes, it's a secret, my dear. All right, let's just get these brown on both sides. All of them. And it's going to be a while, so I'll get back to you momentarily. Okay, so now I'm on the last of my eggplant. Looking good. And set those aside so I can, when I'm ready to layer, turn the heat off. All right, move this pan out of the way. Okay, so since it's only the two of us here, I'm going to use, yeah, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to use a brownie pan. Um for this recipe um, since there's only two of us and um, I'm using aluminum because I'll tell you in a minute it's a secret you're like how is she gonna make this I can't tell you all my secrets in the beginning I have to make some suspense I have to make you watch the whole thing all right so I'm going to hit it with some cooking spray. And just like, just like the case deep, whoops. Gonna mix this up. Now we're going to start the layering process. But I'm going to use a spoon instead. A little bit of mixture on the bottom. Like so. Just a little bit. Make it even. Okay. Now I'm going to put the eggplant slices down. 
with my hands because my hands are impeccably clean. I must wash my hands when I cook at least 50,000 times. At the very least. All right. Now we're going to hit it with some ricotta cheese. I'm using this ricotta cheese. Put it down. Spread it out. Not too much. I don't want the lasagna to be dry. Teeny bit more. Okay. There we go. I'm going to add some cheese. I'm using two kinds of cheese. I'm using mozzarella. Just a little bit of cheese here. Just like Big Gay Steve, huh? I'm not afraid of cheese. I'm not afraid of cheese. I'm using some Romano. I don't have much of this left. Okay. And add the spinach. Now remember, I have, I'm using what they call power greens. So it's like dandelions, spinach, and uh, chard, Swiss chard. A little bit of that. Now we're going to add more sauce. Okay. Add more sauce. I'm going to have a lot of mixture left over. I'm going to press this just a little bit so I can get one more layer in there. Okay, more eggplant. All right. My gosh, this smells so good. You guys need to go to Cooking with Big Gay Steve and watch this video. This smells amazing. Wipe my hands. Some more ricotta cheese. Now this time on the cheese, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Give it a little extra, extra. Girl, if you are not extra, then what are you? Ooh, girl. Girl, this looks good. Ooh. Okay. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Just like the gay Steve. Put some cheese. And cheese on it.
I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to make this recipe when I saw him do it. I said, that is what I'm going to do. Actually, I've done a few of Big Gay Steve's recipes. He did one with uh, sausage and cabbage. Ooh, girl, that was good. You haven't seen that video. You're missing out. You make some good recipes. Okay, I'm going to add some more of the greens here. Okay, let me fiddle with these so they all fit in the... See, now, in the uh, the recipe calls for... Uh, a bigger pan. I think it's a 12 by 8. I'm using a small pan because there's just the two of us. And I want to eat it while it's fresh. All right. I'm going to do one. I'm going to, girl, I'm going for it. I am going to put one more layer on here. Whoop. Just lost an onion. Or is that a mushroom? Nope, an onion. Okay, I am going to... Make this my last level because I don't have any more room in the pan. Girl, I am going for it. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it, girl. All right. Let's leave that there. Okay. I'm going to finish this up. This is overflowing. I think I put too much in there, but I don't care. I'm going to do it. Go big or go home, right? I'm going to put some cheese on here. Some mozzarella. You know what? There it goes. I used it all up. <laughs> I'm pushing it down is not not uh, a technical move. It was my own move. Might as well use all this up, too. Okay. It's gone. Okay. Here it is. Here's the big secret. It's going on the barbecue. I'm going to set it here for about an hour. Okay, just checking on it. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. Looking good. This is what it looks like so far. It's been 30 minutes. Let's leave it in for a little bit longer, and then we'll come and check on it. Okay, girl, look. Look at this. Ooh, girl. This looks mighty fine. 
Okay, it's ready to come out. Take it out, let it cool for a few minutes. And then cut into it. Woo! All right, let's cut into this baby. Serve it up. It's been sitting for about 15, 20 minutes. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Look at that. Oh, girl. All right, there it is. Now, let's give it a try. Okay, let's cut her up, peace. Yeah. Let's cut a piece. Mm. That's so good. Mm. I wish you can taste it. There's your bite. delicious go and try it yourself thank you all for watching and i'll see you on the next video